music or no music? We'll do a little music. I don't know if they can hear it, but... Well, of course they can hear the music. You know this one? Um... It wasn't... I wasn't trying to stump you, but... Yeah, you, but you did it. Okay, so this is a song called Breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh, okay. Is it, it was, a 90s song or something? Actually, it was a remake. I think it was done earlier, too. I remember. Let's... Why not have breakfast at Tiffany's? Yeah, well, so, so what I was thinking today, since it's a big fun day here at the uh, Harbor Hills Racquet Center, you know how they have uh, breakfast at Wimbledon? Breakfast at Tiffany? That was the theme. Anyway, oh, okay. welcome to the uh, Sean and John podcast episode number nine of season two of season two we lasted two seasons we've been on a little hiatus for the last couple weeks and we have so much to get into today it's out of control but let's start with what's going on behind us well today is fun day here at the racket center so right. they've got uh, challenges and games and awards and prizes given out down on the pickleball court right they've got uh, on the tennis court they've got the short courts going on mm -hmm. so it's, it's a lot they of really put a nice event together and you know we typically don't talk about our racket sports enough we really try to highlight it but we don't and today is one of those days where um, they're really putting on a nice event john tennis john is putting together some nice uh, challenges for them as he called it in his pregame and it's also uh point system and you know people win they lose listen competitive is sports and competitive ah, no matter about. no matter if you're great or not that that's what when you get to a, a, we all want to be competitive right we all want to win we all want to lose nicely and well we don't yeah. all want to lose but anyway that's that's what's going on behind us yeah you know before we get any farther into the show i, I want to congratulate you oh well, on your new your new promotion, welcome. you are now in charge of. I'm the director of fun. The director of fun. Yes. I I never officially had a uh, had a title, and really I still don't. Wink, wink. I don't have a title. No, I mean I. And I don't have any keys to the place. I'm not in charge of anything. The which director is good. of fun, though. But I like I that. that. I mean, I'm of all make, things uh, to be the director of fun. Congratulations. So, so last week when you. Uh, we, I was looking for a couple people to be on my department, and unfortunately, there's only one person who stepped up to the challenge, and we'll see if uh, if they last. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of planning to do, but so you've been away. You you were on spring break for uh, a week. You went on a beautiful went on a cruise, yeah. a Caribbean cruise with my wife. Our 34th anniversary it was a lot of fun. How was that? I mean, you can say it. It was spectacular. So one of the advantages to living in Harbor Hills in this area in Central Florida, or North Central Florida if you want to call it, is we're so close to where these cruise ships go out. Whether you're a Carnival or World or Caribbean, Caribbean, Disney, and Disney, and all NCL. of them. So you literally went on a cruise ship and, and you went out of Daytona? Is that what you told me? No, I went out of Port Canaveral. Oh, you went out of Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral. Okay, then, yeah. all right, close enough. But um, a little further east. But So it took you about an hour, hour and a half to get there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How it's, convenient is that? I mean, seriously. Well, you know what? You've got, you can go out of Tampa, mm -hmm. you can go out of Port Canaveral, you can go out of Fort Lauderdale, right. or you can go out of Miami. So we just, you know, shop for the best, the Value, best price. You, you, right. you go, have so a great you had time. had a good time, right? It was great. Absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you, we've been busy building houses, and, and I don't know if you know this, but uh, the market still is pretty crazy. Yeah, it, it is. really is. It really yesterday is. we, uh, Tuesday? Tuesday? Tuesday. So we're filming this on Thursday. And uh, Tuesday we closed two homes, but I'll tell you, we finished this beautiful majestic model. I don't know if you saw this. Get up and look oh. at this. And I didn't. I, uh, we have video on this uh, on our website and our Facebook and all that at harborhills.com if you didn't do that. But look, this is a beautiful home. And if you're looking at this, what do you notice? What sticks out in this home? The beautiful pavers, the beautiful windows. Yeah. yeah. Look at the three car garage. Oh. I mean, how many builders are letting people build three-car garages at this point? Well, not only are they three-car I mean, garages, but they're full-size three-car garages. Yeah, they're oversized. Everything we do here. Yeah, yeah definitely. But uh, So if you didn't see the video, go on our Facebook, our social channels. We put it on, uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, go back and take a look at that. And uh, let, we can talk about Easter's coming up next, next two weeks for Easter. Two, the 17th? Yeah. So I was told that we have some reservations still available for Easter, so that's why this is right here. And if you've never been to our Easter, I think Brian, yeah, we knew we were going to lose one. That's okay. I think the only brunch that we have better than the Easter brunch, of course, is when we do the Thanksgiving spread. Yeah. But other than that, the, 
The Easter brunch is phenomenal. Uh, and Mother's Day. I mean, Mother's Day so is many... dude, Mother's Day is like two weeks after or something like that oh after Easter, or three weeks after. So this year's already flying by. But uh, if you're interested, go ahead. And, can you put the number down? Yeah, right yeah. there. It's three five two seven five three seven thousand. Uh, call and talk to uh, Marie or Rochelle, and they'll take your reservation. By the way, there's reservations. Uh, highly, highly suggested, and, and we do have a few seats left, but they will sell out. You know, um, yesterday we made over 40 reservations wow. for Easter, so it's going to be really busy here. Um, anything you have to talk about? Because I, I, I keep rambling, but I'm going to give you, you a second. <laughs> You're going to give me a second there. Well, you know, gosh, you, you've left me stuck. Did I oh, you, you know what? I've got a great little story. Okay, go ahead. And this goes to the quality of our homes. Mm -hmm. I got a call from from a new homeowner. Okay. And they said, John, I just want to thank you. You guys build such a strong home here. It's unbelievable. I said, well, 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 thank you. I appreciate that, but why do you say that? Now, I'm not going to give the name out, but there was a little incident where um, a foot slipped off the brake and onto the gas pedal, and actually car ran right into the house. Ooh. And it was actually in the, by the garage, and, okay. and uh, was you know the little post in between the garage doors, yeah. and it hit right there. Were they Car, okay? Yeah, that was okay. my first they, question. Okay. And they, they okay? yeah, absolutely, yeah. they're okay. Uh -huh. Obviously, airbag came out and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Car was basically totaled, and he said, "John, when we pulled the car away from the house, yeah." No damage at all. Well, you know, all. I'm glad they're okay, first of all, but obviously we built concrete block homes here. Steel, and, the and steel, steel and concrete, yeah, I mean, yeah it was, but it was just better, like. So. I'm like, glad I'm glad they're okay because that was my first question. But Absolutely. You know, but, we've been so busy with uh, doing things around here and, and watching homes being built. I got a customer that's coming this week, uh, today, that I'm going to meet in about an hour or so. Uh, that's going to take a look. We just installed their cabinet, so they're going to take a look at that, okay. and they're nearby today. So I'll tell you, my I, I got to uh, toot my own horn a little bit. My daughter, Sydney, who you know, very uh, into softball, had, has had a pretty good couple weeks. And uh, they on Tuesday, do you know what a walk-off is? Because I had to explain this to my wife. A walk-off would be if you uh, would be in the, the last inning. Right. You're the last up, right. and you hit a hit a shot that uh, basically scores a run. Right, and exactly. Walk off. So, yeah. so Sydney hit the hit to tie the game, which was 2-2. She brought the run in. And then they, and then uh, the next batter uh, moved her over to second. And then Casey, one of the seniors, hit her in from second. It was pretty exciting. But the Villages, uh, where my daughter goes, they did a really nice article in there. And I don't know. It's, uh, no, that's uh, somebody else. But she's got a little quote here. And I wanted to kind of read this quote because I, I figured I want you to chuckle. You know, and uh, so Sydney got in. My, my daughter Sydney got interviewed by the newspaper, and you know, I'm sorry to bore you guys just a little bit, but you know, she basically said, "Don't tell coach," but the reason why I had a great game, and she pitched seven innings, by the way, and played really well, is because she was able to take a nap right before she played. She put some. Anyway, I, I, I thought she was going to say it was because of my dad. No, she doesn't get any athletic ability from, from me. The only thing she gets is my speed, which is super slow. Well, and you know what? That's not totally true. Because i, I got to tell you, you know, we've been working... I know where you're going with we, this. We've been working on this a day in the life. You know, Sean and I have been going around doing all the, just some of the different activities here. And i got to tell you, Sean really is a good golfer. He's, you've got a lot of talent there. You've right? got to be good at something in life. And so. he really is a good golfer. <laughs> I mean, how many strokes did you beat me by? And I'm a few. A few. Yeah. I was being nice to you. But listen, watch for that video. We're going to put that video together. We've been doing this for a couple weeks. You'll see us doing various activities and fun things. But let's talk about inventory homes a little bit because we, we are in a unique position here where we still have some inventories left that we're selling. And they're just about to hit. I'm going to put them on the market next week. Uh, they're not all the way done, but right. we picked the majority of uh, the finishes. finishes. And one of them is the Sago, which is a, a, an unbelievable 21, just just about 2,100 square feet home. It's got two car and a golf cart. Yep. So you have extra storage. So if you're coming up from no, up north and you're looking for bigger garages, it goes back to what I was saying before. That home's going to be around 470. So just remember that if you're looking for that, uh, 
you're jumping on it now. It's on our inventory page right now yeah. at harborhills.com, so you can check that out. Yeah. What inventory home do you, are you liking? You know, we got a couple the, of them. The Royal Palm, mm -hmm. lot 47 up in Bella Vista. Uh -huh. it's, got a, it's got a great yard on it, number yeah. one. Yeah. But it also has a two-car, oversized two-car with a golf cart garage. Right. But I really like the way the laundry room comes off the master bath. Okay. It's such a neat feature. Yeah. In fact, I saw somebody take another one of our homes and actually do kind of the same thing with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, for most people, usually the laundry room is on the separate side of the master bedroom. Right. Most, gotta... most plans, most yeah. uh, builders build it that way. And uh, we just had a lot of people ask for it, so we build what people want, and it's a great floor plan. It's, it's a called great the Royal Palm. Royal Palm. So anyway, but that's exciting. Hey, more information, go to our website. It's harborhills.com. We're going to go try to participate in a uh, fun day here at the Ooh. Tennis Racket Center. And, uh, Sean? Hey, thanks for watching. It's good to have you as director of fun here at Harbor Hills. All right, we'll, we'll see, see you later. Bye-bye.